This week, our Fork in the Road judges venture down in search of one thing, the best Wabash Valley biscuits and gravy. Yeah, you nominated your favorite hot spots, more than 20 of them, in fact. And then our food connoisseurs tried the top three vote getters firsthand to pick the overall grand champion. So who wins the bragging rights? Take a look. It's like they knew we were coming. Day one, your votes took us to Flat Rock, Illinois, where we found the Maxwell House Cafe. They've been serving up biscuits and gravy since 1985, and the regulars say the recipe can't be beat. It tastes like homemade. You know, you go to some restaurants and they, you can tell it's like a bag or, or something. You know, it's not fresh. This is, it's fresh biscuits and gravy, and it's very good. Next stop. The Catacorner Corner Diner. You get it? Because it's on the corner. Opened back in 1931. The Wamsley family runs the Catacorner Corner now. So why did you vote them into the top three? Consistency, um, it's got good flavor and good texture to it, and you know, so we like it. <laughs> it's like, if I don't like it, it doesn't go out there. <laughs> That's how it works. Our last stop was a familiar place to the Fork in the Road crew. We were here for pie, now we're back. That's a good thing. You voted Becky's Cafe into the top three, and the judges soon found out why. The fact that we make it in small batches, I think when you do stuff in volume, you kind of lose a little bit of the flavor. So I, I think that has a lot to do with it. Cook it in an iron skillet, probably that has something to do with it too. So who takes home the prize? <laughs> it was a close vote, but the Catacorner Diner takes home the honors of best biscuits and gravy in the Wabash Valley. <laughs> you heard it, Cat a Corner win, so congratulations. And we've got the owners with us here. Susan Wamsley was here with us in the studio. This is your menu, right? It is, yes. There's a lot of stuff It's on got a lot of stuff. We have a pretty full menu. A lot of good stuff. Here. Omelets, breakfast, lunch, <laughs> specials, fish. All the time, but we're talking this right here. Best Biscuits of the Wabash and gravy. Mike, tell us about what's going on here. They are awesome. I think what it came down to was they really had the complete package. I mean, the biscuits were great. The flavor of the gravy was unbelievable, and that's what, in the end, uh, won out. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. And you said the bacon, right you said the bacon's good, The bacon too, right? is unbelievable. All right, what you, secret? you gotta try it. Well, you can't tell us any secrets how you make it, things like that, but what's that's the... Good. Well, well, you what gotta have you good flavor with the sausage, and you don't want it greasy, mm -mm. so it's mm -mm. done ahead. Okay. And it's kind of spicy. Yeah. It's got a kick to it. Right, a little like bit. It. Yeah, a little bit. And then um, consistency. Every time it's got to be made exactly the same. Well, you, you do know? realize with so. this with this award, a lot of people are going to come <laughs> visit you. So <laughs> what, <laughs> yeah, double, double the staff so for what, breakfast. What are your okay. hours? When are you open? 5 a.m. every morning, Monday through Saturday. Okay. And Monday through Thursday, we close at 2. Friday's our long day. We mm -hmm. have fish all day long. And uh, then Saturday, we're open for breakfast. But you can get breakfast How do you day. get there? How do you get there? Where are you guys located? We're on uh, just off of South 41 okay. and on the south side of Sullivan. It's just at in, uh, State Road 54 and Old Highway 41. So it's just like not Down even a quarter of a mile off the main okay. drag. All right, easy yeah. to get there. Well, congratulations. Easy. You can't miss us. We're bright yellow. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> I need